The amount of change we've done in five years is equivalent to what an institution might do in at least uh, 20, 30 years and maybe 50. Uh, it's transformational at almost every level. Uh, so I sure hope it's not going to continue for the next five years at this pace. Uh, but we, ca we came out of probably the largest financial crisis since the Depression and arguably for financial institutions uh, even, even prior to that. So what the firm has done in um, first becoming a bank holding company, um, second uh, acquiring a very large wealth manager to now be one of the largest two or three wealth managers globally, uh, thirdly to shut all of our proprietary trading businesses and our hedge fund businesses and refocus on our client activities, uh, fourthly to bring down our leverage from 35 times to 12 times and double our capital. These, these are once in a decade changes any individual one of these. And we did five or six of them over a four or five year period. I think the major strategic changes have taken place. I would be surprised if there are major strategic changes for us uh, over the next several years, but clearly in the new regulatory environment, we're continuing to refine our business model uh, to generate for our shareholders the kinds of returns they expect in an environment where we're using much more capital to prosecute the businesses that we're doing for our clients. So it's more a question of now, now that we've got the new business model, let's make it work. Let's deliver performance uh, above our cost of capital, which we and most of our industry are not doing at this point. The um, major factors that are going to drive change is absorbing the new regulatory regimes globally. Uh, the US is, I would argue, ahead of uh, certainly where Europe is in making regulatory changes. We need to now harmonize those changes because we're a, we're a global entity. We're not a US, we're US headquartered, but we're not a US entity, we're a global entity. Uh, so harmonize the regulatory changes and adapt your business model accordingly. We need to feed the businesses uh, that uh, get generous returns on capital, starve the businesses that don't, realign our resources like that. And most importantly, and, and particularly to a school like Yale, is, is recognizing we're in the war for talent still. Uh, we, we succeed because we attract very, very high quality, dedicated professionals to our business who have a real passion for being in the banking business. There are a lot of opportunities for growth. Um, at, at a macro level, with the global economic recovery that is taking place, um, clearly uh, the financial sector tends to recover faster than most industries. And within the financial sector, the securities subsector recovers fast. So in terms of being positioned for global economic growth, we're clearly positioned for that. Um, secondly, if you look at some of the regions of the world, we sold 22% of Morgan Stanley to the largest bank in Japan, Mitsubishi UFJ. And we have a wonderful partnership with them. And with the surge that's taking place, uh, the revigoration of the Japanese economy, that's a wonderful platform for us to find growth. And thirdly, just across our various businesses, we've, we were so distracted in the last few years trying to adapt our business model to the new reality, uh, it'll be kind of fun just getting back to focusing all of our energies on serving our clients. I think a lot of our competitors globally are still focused on changing their business models post-crisis. We've done that. We've got that behind us. So we're going to be focusing all of our energy on doing business. The emerging markets are always, uh, by definition, fragile because they're emerging. They haven't, they haven't emerged, they're not developed markets, so you're going to see more volatility. Uh, that said, I get excited about Brazil, I get excited about Indonesia, uh, where we've set up an equities trading business. Um, I certainly think that uh, China over the next several years, under the new leadership of Xi Jinping, uh, should perform at 7 plus percent uh, GDP growth, which makes it a very attractive market. Uh, so there, there are huge pockets of opportunity, but there are going to be uh, speed bumps as we adjust, whether it's pulling liquidity out of the system as tapering of the Federal Reserve um, quantitative easing occurs, uh, whether it's some of the political turmoil we're seeing uh, in, in a number of countries around the world. All of those factors affect domestic economic growth.